Good morning, guys and gals in the YouTube modeling community. This is Ron coming to you from Grandpa's Playroom on a rather damp Saturday morning here in Nebraska. We have a shop card shout out and a short update on a couple of the builds on the bench. Uh, first things first, we received a card this week, actually yesterday, from Chopped, Rex, Nick, Custom. Uh, Bill, I really appreciate you sending this card out. Love the rat on it. Looks like kind of a combination between Mickey Mouse and Rat Sphinx and yeah, I'm not sure what else, but ah, I do love it, Bill. Thanks a lot for sending it. Uh, anybody out there that's watching my video, uh, if you're not subscribed to Shop Flex Next Customs, you need to go over to his channel and subscribe. He builds a lot of really neat rat rods. Um, he's really into the old hot rod. Does the 32s, 34s, Model A's, Model T's, and the biggest percentage of them he does old style and does the uh, rat rod style. So thanks again, Bill. Really appreciate the card. Okay, on to the next thing. We have a short update on two builds. One of them is for Dylan at New York State Modeling for his Pro Street build, which is the Plymouth GTX. And we'll see if we can get it just a little bit closer here. Um, maybe about like that. And spin it here just a hair. Tilt the camera just a hair. Got the details on this week. Um, got the red, white, and blue all done last week, as you had seen. Um, got the details on this week, and they were kind of a chore. Uh, 26 year old details don't work <laughs> real well, but we did manage to get them on there. The only problem that I have, and I think. You can probably see it in the video, um, and I don't know if I can reach a pointer or not, but up on the door, where it was supposed to say Ronnie Socks, it says Ronnie Socks, but I couldn't get rid of the yellow on it. Um, that just, just wouldn't clean up. All the details had yellowing, but... They all came out pretty good on the sides and on the fenders. Um, all I gotta have to do now is just seal them to make sure they don't fall back off. So, but it's coming along pretty good. I'm I'm very very happy with it. So, we'll just do a slow. Or try to do a slow spin around for you, and then we will move over. To the other update, which is my 427 Ford Fairlane that we are doing for Scott uh, at Saltwater Scale. Saltwater Scale Autos? I hope that's right, Scott. I can't see your cards, so I can't say for sure. <laughs> but we're doing the muscular dystrophy build, um, and I chose the 427 Ford Fairlane to do. Gonna pull some of this stuff over just a little bit closer. Um, to try to. We have the body all cleaned up and primed, ready for the final sanding before I put my white paint on. Uh, we have the motor partially, or the engine partially assembled. Um, it's kind of a neat little, neat little engine. It uh, has separate, the transmission and the engine block are separate. And so you can do nice detailing on the tranny. 
and I'm going to put the engine block uh, in there. Sanding together the uh, dual carburetor manifold, I stripped the chrome off of it and then redid it with aluminum paint. Um, I think we'll do some black wash on both of them so that they come out looking a little bit better. But it's coming along. The only other major problem that I had, or not major problem, but the only other problem I had this week was that I had to do, if I can get up here, I had to do a lot of filling on the hood on both sides of that scoop because the hood is a one-piece fiberglass hood from the factory. And when you glued that scoop on there, it had some terrible uh, cracks, I guess you would say, for the scoop and the hood glued together. So we got that all filled and primed, and now it's ready to be sanded down and painted also. Um, we have a semi-gloss black frame. Here I come again. Um, and it's ready to start putting detail and stuff on. Um, that's as far as it is. And then a lot of the small pieces, uh, the end housing, things like that, I've got assembled and all the mold lines and stuff off of them ready to paint. Um, this kit was a fabulous kit. Very, very little splice, um, very little mold lines on the body. Um, very, very pleased with it. So I think it's going to be a beautiful build. So thank you for checking me out. Um, all my subscribers, I want to thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. It's uh, just maybe starting to look at my videos. Uh, appreciate you supporting me. So I think that's enough rambling for this morning. And the phone's ringing, so this is gone from Grandpa's Toy Room, closing out. Bye.